there two years ago. So originally from California. Okay. Yeah. What a setup. This is great. Yeah, 100 yards. Okay. So, each can come on. Nice. There was already one in the chamber. So, you may go with it. No, no, that's the female, old female. You get the blood on the mouth, that's part of it. <laughs> nice. Spot. After you shot, there was another one that came running out. Okay, let's walk up there and go to check. What a great start! Alright! <laughs> Congratulations, good shooting there, sir! Well, Mr. Chris, it's your first time here in Africa, first afternoon. It's a long, long time awaiting. You know, with COVID postponing the hunts the whole time and traveling being difficult and stuff like that. So um, I'm happy that you finally made it here and I'm sure you are happy to be here. And Yeah, that, couldn't be happy. It took three years for me to get here because of COVID, but thanks to DeWitt's patience, uh, I finally made it. I'm here and uh, we got out on a hunt late afternoon on Saturday on my arrival day and uh, Put a couple down range at the at the gun range just to make sure we were zeroed and and about a half hour later we got on this this nice zebra and uh took us about half hour 45 minutes yeah. to uh, 500 yards walk did yeah you say? Mm -hmm. about 500 yep. yeah I spotted them 500 yards away about and made the stalk and got to within 100 yards and they didn't even know about us this one came walking out and presented the perfect shot and this is the result. Yeah. Some good shooting and a good first trophy on your first Thank trip you. there, sir. Congratulations. Yep, this zebra will make a nice rug in my man cave.
a good shot. Dropped him right in his track. Good shot. Hit him again or no? No, he's done. He's done. <laughs> good shooting there. <laughs> Very good shooting, Josh. Yeah, he's done. You can make the right to save. Excellent. Very happy. Good day to be alive. Right? <laughs> Here in South Africa. On the shoulder, a little bit high. A little high, yeah. Well, we thought the day was coming to an end, but uh, we, we got on this Blesbuck and a bunch of his females, and it took us about 400 yards through some really thick bush, but we, uh, we eventually got up to about 157 yards. Yeah, 157. And I dumped them. Yeah, perfect shot. Great end to a beautiful day. Your first day in yeah, South Africa. Yeah, not a bad day. You're still on the first half day. First I half haven't even day, unpacked so. yet. So, yeah, you know, South Africa is a special place. And, you know, the abundance of animals and the variety that you have, you know, it's, it's really a nice place to hunt them. The sun is setting right in front of us and man, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, beautiful day. So absolutely an honor to have yeah. you here. Thank you. Beautiful trophy. David is quite the stalker, let me tell you. <laughs> Well, I just have to say, this was an incredible day. Landed in Johannesburg early this morning. David and Cristal picked me up. We had a wonderful drive out, had a lot of conversation about South, Af South Africa. And we got here and had a wonderful lunch and put a couple of bullets down range to make sure the rifle was zeroed. And then we headed out on David's property here and immediately ran into a, a big sable. And then we saw a couple of zebra. And I was able to follow DeWitt through all the, the thick brush. And we got up on one of the zebra and brought him down. And then got lucky again with a Blesbuck about an hour later. We flushed a lot of good game today. A, a kudu, a water buck, and two black impala and a, and a blue wildebeest. So maybe tomorrow we'll find those. Yeah. Cheers, sir. Good, Cheers. good day. Finishing off with the barbecue.
good eat? Oh, yeah. Well, as you can see, uh, we got really lucky and fortunate this morning. Um, we've got here a Matissi Sable, about 40 inches. We were on the truck uh, stalking and chasing some black Impala when we came upon some really nice Sable uh, walking through the same area. So we turned around and took the truck back a ways and started our stalk about 500 yards back and DeWitt did a really good job of, of getting me on this uh, really nice uh, bull. And uh, we took him at about 125 yards. Yeah, 125. Yeah, uh, made a decent shot and uh, clean kill and couldn't be happier. Yeah, no, congratulations, sir. Thank uh, you. Good start to the day and let's keep the good luck rolling. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs> Stuff. He doesn't go too far at all, right? I was worried I, I just wounded him. He was standing yeah. almost facing me, so I yeah. had an angle shot. Yeah. All all right. Right. Well the hunt continues, Martin. Wow, excellent. That's a very nice involve. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes, can't find him. Yeah, it took them literally 30 seconds. Hey, well, uh, we got lucky again. Um, DeWitt and I were on the truck and noticed uh, a bunch of Impala moving into the trees and so we put on a stock and uh, out pops a Nyala. So I got on the Nyala and just about ready to pull the trigger and he disappeared into the bush. Uh, DeVitt noticed this Impala male, um, nice ram just popped up out of nowhere. I immediately pivoted to my right and uh, we took more of a frontal shot and and he, he was hit but he ran around the tree and then we later found him about two, three minutes later uh, dead behind the bush. Well, good morning. It's uh, Monday and very excited to uh, hunt with WJ, my new pro PH for the day. And we're gonna head off property today to another location called Durin Lakta. And it's uh, slightly smaller than the property we're on uh, right now, but we're gonna be targeting blue wildebeest, gemsbok, kudu, maybe Nyala waterbuck if we can. 
So uh, excited, let's get going. Another great morning in South Africa. Nice. Check his eye, make sure he's dead. Good. Right. Good, looking, yeah. good looking good uh, looking horns too. Yep. Nice white clip over there. <laughs> Looks like he had braces as a kid. <laughs> well, good morning. We could not be happier. Uh, WJ uh, and I got on this blue wildebeest bull this morning at Durin Lokta property here in South Africa. And I was fortunate enough to uh, get on a stock and we stalked him for about 20 minutes and got in close enough about 90 yards. Yeesh. And I uh, put it right on his front left shoulder and he only ran about 100 yards and went down, so very happy. He's about 200 kilograms, and thank you, WJ. That was that was a great move. Pleasure, sir. Pleasure. Just have a few uh, polar drops. Okay, so, sir, this is called the Rolls Book. What it's called. This is what we call it. Tongue spitting competition. So, I'm gonna go first. Take this. little bit around your tongue onto the sides remember it's like a bullet you need to add a bit of weight to it to go further just put a bit of moisture on it 
then you need to reach that line. Moisture and movement. Movement is pretty key. You need to be all stretched out. And you go back and then forward. So go back. Pretty good this. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. That was great. You win. Come on, sir. <laughs> Come on. Even the camera guy will do it. No. I'm not doing it. <laughs> We're headed out for some kudu today. From Joseph Colgate. A <laughs> little time there. <laughs> Down. Yeah, he's almost down. He's so his butt is going like this. <laughs> Good day guys, so what a wonderful day in Africa. We got the privilege of taking a beautiful Nyala today. Um, as you guys can see those beautiful lines and also that face of him with the spots on. Um, this is a pretty old fight, the bull. Uh, as you guys can see some of his face, there's some markings on it. Also the horns, the tips is a bit, one is a bit skewer than the other one. So there's a pretty nice fighting bulls with some scars on the back as well. So uh, congratulations, sir. Thank you. And uh, you can tell the next story. We were uh, riding along in the truck and uh, we spotted this one. Nicholas actually found it first and we got out of the truck and put a stalk on it. And we got to within about 185 yards uh, at the tree, a little bit further up through the plains here. And uh, 
got on his shoulder and, and uh, got lucky with a really great shot. He went down at, at about 20 seconds later, he was dead. So uh, very happy with the, uh, the shot and the Niall is just beautiful. So thank you again at uh, WJN Nicholas. You guys did a great job helping me get on it. Thank you, Mr. DJ and Mr. Chris. Set a very good meal of a cray. So, the commission and the two and a half of the people who are the So, as you can see, the great is a day in Yala Hakrayet. So, the two and a half of the people who are the great, but the two and a half of So, Mr. DJ, the more the great, the more the Yala is the great. So, we are very happy to be here. So, thank you. Bye. So, thank you. Bye. Get in the car, WJ. WJ, don't fool around, buddy. Wow. That's, ins that's insane. I'm like, stop, I can shoot him. <laughs> because I saw the one down there, and then I saw that one, and I just tried to move for that tree. Okay. Yes. Nicholas, you're incredible, man. <laughs> I owe you big time. Thank you. Well He's got eyes like an eagle. Great, yeah. <laughs> South African tradition uh, for a really nice kudu. Uh, I would like to uh, just mark you a bit. Oh, that's what I almost missed. But uh, congratulations sir, on a really nice kudu. Thank you. Really I'm really nice. excited. Uh, we've been hunting kudu for the past three or four days and five and a half stalks. And uh, I got to hand it to Nicholas. Once again, he's got eagle vision and yep. saw this kudu standing and feeding in this uh, prairie hill area right here. We jumped out of the truck, got on a quick stock, got on the sticks, and he was about 125 yards out. And I hit him exactly where I wanted to and killed him pretty pretty quick. So really excited about the shot, and I love the size of this boy. He is a he's a big one. Yep, no, he is. He is. Spirit of the kudu. Well, as you can see, we worked as a team here and the team that I've got is fantastic. 
uh, we just took down this beautiful kudu. Uh, we were driving through and uh, I'll let Nicholas tell his story, but he was able to find it. We jumped off the truck, ran back and stalked it a bit and got on sticks. And I made a, a, a very fortunate shot and took him down very quickly. I could not be happier. Great day in South Africa today. And then uh, from my point as well, from the vet hunting safaris, sir, congratulations on this beautiful bull. Thank you. Uh, we as the vet hunting safaris and you, sir, we can, we, we, we really plowed. Um, that was an excellent shot as he went down. We just saw him running a bit and he saw that butt going down, going down, and the next moment he's down. So congratulations and uh, let's go and get a games buck. And thank you again, <laughs> WJ, because one of the best guides in the business right here, WJ. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Wednesday, June 1st, and we're going for Gemsbach at Lockleu. Lockleu, yes sir. And uh, this will be the eighth and final animal of this safari, so I'm, I'm hoping that I don't get one today so we can keep hunting tomorrow. <laughs> that sounds good, sir. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a hunt today. It's really thickets and uh, I'm looking forward to it as well. It's gonna be challenging, I'm not gonna lie, sir. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a good Gemsbach hunt. It's been a great safari so far, uh, seven animals, it's been incredible and uh, we'll see what happens today. Eric, good morning, nice to meet you. Thank you for letting us hunt here today. No problem, excited.
<laughs> yes! Nicholas does well it again! Done. Nice work. What a <laughs> What a day. Oh. Well, good job, sir. Yeah. Great job. Do you see him? Well he just done. stood there and I'm like, did I miss? And then he just goes, boom. Not really like a Gentlemen, thank you. That was awesome. Well done. <laughs> thank you for the opportunity. All day long. Well, as you can see, we just took down a really nice Gemsbach. Uh, could not be happier. We hunted all day today from 6.30 this morning until the sun is just about down. We got him at the very last twilight of the day. And once again, I've got to thank my great PHWJ, Eric, who manages the property and Nicholas, who once again found this guy through thicket, and we pulled over and did a stalk on him, and I was able to take him down at about 200 yards right through the heart. Really happy with the size of this guy. Nice old bull, so hey, couldn't be happier, and the end of uh, my safari. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, sir. Great job, sir. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Thanks, Nicholas. Mm -hmm.